Volume 2, Number 6. The All-Star Game was about to start as warm-ups were just wrapping up and Grace was going to attend for a short time with Michael. The kids were staying home because it was only appropriate as they were only going to be there for a short time. As they were watching the kids warm up and finish up the warm-ups, they wanted to see Elijah play a little bit of the game. Elijah was aware of this, that mom and dad were only going to be there for a short time. He was excited that mom was at least attending for a short time. So as Elijah was up on deck, he was the first up at bat. So Elijah was ready to hit and swing that bat, that bat as best as he could for mom and the baby. As dad was cheering him on, come on, Elijah, let's go. As he clapped and the team was clapping for him, Elijah hit a grand slam. It was a great hit and it was just what they wanted to see for the first hit. It was exactly what they wanted to see. The ball hit in the corner pocket. It was a home run. Elijah was the star of the game already, and it, the game was just beginning. Mom was so proud of him. She got to see a home run. Really, just so excited. As she saw more, a couple more innings of the game, Elijah kept hitting the ball into the corner, into center field. As more runs came in, they were still winning four to three. The game was a tight, tight score. The opposing team was playing their best too. As things were wrapping up for Grace and Michael, they had to leave, but Michael was gonna come back to watch the rest of the game. Grace wrapped the baby up and got in the car and hurried, hurried home as Michael made sure that the baby and Grace got home safely. So Michael made his way home with the baby and Grace and they got home safely so Grace could breastfeed the baby and rest easy the rest of the night. Michael said to Grace, now you just rest for the rest of the night and I'll be back. I'm gonna watch Elijah as he plays the rest of the game. Grandma Yokoshoda came to watch the rest of the game with Michael. Let's go watch him play the rest of the game. Let's do this. Let's watch our wonderful grandson do this, said Grandma Adrian and Uncle Grandpa Tom. That's right. Let's do this. So they went along with Michael. The four of them went to see him, including Jessica. Jessica wanted to see how he was going to play the game. They rooted Elijah on along with Jenny, who came along for the ride. They couldn't believe what a game Elijah was playing. He was playing like a superstar. Really, he really was the superstar of the game. He may get MVP of the game as he hit another home run. Wow, this is incredible, said Dad to Michael. He's playing like a true winner. He may end up getting MVP, said Michael. I mean, really. As the game was winding down to the eighth inning, it was the bottom of the eighth, and here he was. He was up at bat again, and he hit a line drive into center field, hitting the gates. Wow, he put up another few points. Now it was 11-9, and they were winning. The game was still tight, and then it was the top of the ninth, and they hit another, the opposing team hit another ball into center field. Now it was 10-11, and the game was getting tighter. It's the bottom of the ninth, and the team was playing as hard as they could to get the score up. They got another 
couple scores and they were up 12 to 10. They were winning. And Elijah was finally up to bat. He was the last one up. Elijah hits and he hits it to mid to center field and hits over the fence. Another home run. This was the end of the game. It was 13 to 10, the final score. Elijah does get the MVP at the All-Star game. This was truly a victory. It was her huge victory, as mom couldn't wait to hear the end of the game victory. She was so proud of his already accomplishments, but nothing could compare to hearing about what was about to be told. As the awards were given out at the end of the game, it was such a great moment when they heard that Elijah was the MVP of the game. And they cheered Elijah on. They couldn't help to get home so quickly as everybody hurried in the cars and got home. Elijah, we're so proud of you. You got MVP. Yes, I know. I can't believe this actually happened to me. I'm the MVP of the game. Wait till mom hears this. So quickly they got to home and got into the driveway and Elijah raced up to tell mom. Mom, guess what happened? What, son? Said Grace. I got MVP in the game. Really? Oh, said Grace. I'm so proud of you. That is so great. I saw you in the stands. I'm so happy you were there, mom. I can't believe I got MVP. Look at my trophy. Oh, honey, and I got ribbons. Oh, wow, you already got so many trophies as it is. Just add more to your collection. I'm so proud of you. Dad came upstairs to follow in his footsteps along with Jenny. Jenny, are you proud of your brother? Oh, I'm so proud of my brother. Ms. Yoko Shoto made her way upstairs too. This is so great. I'm so proud of you, Elijah, said Mrs. Yokoshena. You did so well, grandson. I'm so proud of you. Oh, give me a hug. And he hugs his grandma. Thank you, grandma. As mom and dad came upstairs too, they all crowded around Grace's bed. Look how peaceful Michael is. Oh, he looks so precious as they wanted to hold him so much, but he was sleeping. He just got done breastfeeding. That's what Grace said. Yes, Grace, I understand. Uh, as Elijah kissed Michael on the forehead and said to Jenny, it's time for you all to clean up, okay? I'm so proud of you, Elijah, as Elijah kissed his mom, Grace. I love you, mom. Thank you for being there. I mean it at the bottom of my heart. You're starting to sound like your dad, Elijah. Yeah, I, I get it from dad and you. I see how you love each other. It makes me feel so special. Say, mom, I'm really, really happy right now. I couldn't be more happier right now than I am now to be with my family and to share this moment with you. Aw, Elijah, that's so special, said Grace. Okay, I'm going to go shower up, Mom, just like a team player that I am. Okay, well, Michael is so proud at this moment. He said, that's my son. That's my son. And Grace says, that is your son. He's doing so well. And Jenny says, that is my brother. He is Definitely a sport. That's right, Jenny. Will you make us so proud? Oh, Miss Yokoshoto says, I am so proud of the kids. They have become such a great part of this family. They have done so well for themselves. You have done so well with these children. They've really evolved into such wonderful, mature children. I am so happy to see the progress they have made. I have to give them a kiss goodnight as soon as they get out of the showers. 
Yes, Elijah was just cleaning up and drying off and putting on his pajamas. And so was Jenny. Okay, so we're all, we got our pajamas on, Mom. We're just going to give you a kiss goodnight and say a prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for this night, said Elijah. Thank you for Jenny. Thank you for Mom and Dad. Thank you for Grandma and Grandpa. Thank you for Grandma Yokoshoto. Thank you for everything that you do in our lives, especially for my brother, Michael, and my brother, Josiah, and my sister, Melissa, and all the nannies and nurses and all the doctors that have helped us through this time. Thank you for my baseball team and my coaches and for a night like tonight. Thank you for the stars that you have created in the sky to keep us safe and warm and all the angels, especially Zaya, the angel that watches over us at night. And all of these things we pray in Jesus' name, amen. I don't think I could say it any better than myself, said Michael. Thank you for that prayer, said Mrs. Yokoshoto. So beautiful. As they kissed each other goodnight, Jenny and Elijah went to bed. Beautiful. What a beautiful moment that was, said Grandma Adrian and Grandpa Tom. Well, it's time for us to turn in ourselves. Can we take the guest room tonight? Yeah, said Grace. We'll get a chance to spend some time with the grandbaby. Yeah, that's fine. I, I totally get that, said Dad. It's easier to spend time with the baby when we're here in the guest room. And do you have your overnight clothes, Grandma and Grandpa? said Jenny. How did, aren't you supposed to be in bed? Oops, sorry, said Jenny. <laughs> it's okay, Jenny. Come on in, said Grace. Aw, Jenny, did you not want to go to sleep? I just wanted to make sure that they had their overnight bags so they can stay with us tonight. Yes, honey, we have our overnight clothes. Okay, I'll go to bed now. Okay, Jenny, get some sleep. We love you. <laughs> Good night, Jenny, said Mom and Dad. All right, Mom and Dad, you do have your overnight bags. Yes, we do. We brought them just in case because we were going to stay anyway. We already had that planned. Okay, great. So they stayed overnight, and Miss Yokoshoda said, "You know, I would, I wouldn't trade this moment for the world. I really want to stay here for this moment, but I know I have to watch my show. <laughs> oh, you have to watch your show," <laughs> said Michael. "Oh yeah, I couldn't miss my show for the moment." Okay. Good night, Mrs. Yokoshoto. Good night, Michael. Good night, Grace. I'll see you in the morning. We'll get to spend some time with the baby. Good night. As Mrs. Yokoshoto made her way downstairs to watch her show on Hulu, they all rested easy at night as Jessica made her way in her room. Oh, it's so nice. So peaceful when everybody's in sleep. You know, the kids really don't wake up in the middle of the night like they used to. That's kind of nice, said Grace. Yeah, besides changing diapers. But she, finally, the kids are out of diapers, so that's really good. Yeah, that is good. The only diapers I have to change is baby Michael's. I still can't believe I have a namesake, said Michael. It's it's a special thing, Grace, to name my baby Michael. It's like a strong connection, Grace. That is awesome. So what is going on for tomorrow? Well, I was thinking about online church or doing something like that. I don't know if you feel up to doing that. I might just rest a little bit more and just let everybody kind of congregate however they feel. Yeah, I think the online church thing is works for me. We could go to the church service, though. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me see how I feel in the morning, okay, Michael? I'm ready to go to rest. 
I have to feed the baby in the middle of the night anyway, so it makes it really hard to plan things. Okay, we'll see how it goes. You feel comfortable right now? Yeah, I just got done breastfeeding the baby, so the baby's sleeping, so we're better take advantage of our sleep while we can. Okay, good night, Michael. I love you, said Grace. Good night, honey. I love you too, said Michael. So they rested, and then Grace woke up in the middle of the night to breastfeed the baby again and went back to sleep after cleaning up the baby and burping the baby. It's one of those things that change diapers in the middle of the night, but it's normal. So Michael woke up with Grace for a little bit and went back to sleep. And by morning, they woke up and they caught a little of the online church service and had a small breakfast made by Mrs. Yokoshiro. And they had eggs and sausage links, just like the way Elijah likes it because of his MVP award. He got to show it off to everybody. But they didn't really show off the baby because they were going to rest for the remainder of the morning. And then afternoon came, they decided that they would bring the baby downstairs. And they were going to each have a chance to hold the baby. Grandma and Grandpa spent most of the time holding the baby. And it was really wonderful that Grandma and Grandpa got a chance to hold the baby because they really needed to spend time with their grandchild. And that was really the wonderful part about everything is that the kids got to have quiet time on the computer. And the kids got a chance to hold the baby too. Elijah said, it's so wonderful to hold the baby. Elijah, tell us more about the game. Well, I just kept hitting the balls. I don't know how to explain it other than that, Mom. I just kept hitting the balls and I kept, I did everything I was told. Conditioning was the key to my game. That's great, son, grandson. I mean, that is exactly what Tom said to his grandson. I'm very proud of your performance. So that's it for the game. That's it for the season. So this being Labor Day weekend, you get to go back to school. Yeah. That means sushi on the first day back to school. Oh, yeah, that's right, sushi. Yes, said Mrs. Yokoshoto, sushi. You got eggs this morning, and then it'll be sushi on the back to day of school. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, boy. Full schedule. You're going to be in sixth grade. Wow, what an accomplishment that is. How do you like St. John's? I love St. John's, said Jenny. I like it too, said Elijah. Excellent. That's great. You've been doing very well at that school. I'm glad we had stayed with it too. Yeah, me too. Okay, so listen, as we get ready for dinner here, a little bit here, we still have some time to relax a little bit. So why don't we wrap it up here for a little bit and take a, a break. And um, you guys can stay on the computer for a little bit and, run, and do whatever you want. I'm going to go put the baby down for a nap, said Mom. Okay, Mom. I have to take the other kids in for a nap too. So with the help of Kit, Jackie, I'm going to go do that right now, okay? So they went and took the kids down for a nap, and before you know it, it was dinner time. They had such a big breakfast that it was almost time for dinner. And she had to breastfeed the baby first. So she breastfed the baby, and then she cleaned up the baby and burped the baby and decided that dinner time would be a light but full meal. So... Grandma and Grandpa decided to cook dinner instead. They decided to make their famous scalloped potatoes and beef stroganoff. Oh, yummy, said Elijah. I love that. Especially those egg noodles. Yummy, said Jenny. 
So after they got the food all plated up on the table, they couldn't help but finish it off real quickly. Mmm, yummy, said Elijah. Thank you so much, Grandma and Grandpa. This is one of my favorite meals. Don't forget your green beans. Okay, we'll eat our green beans. <laughs> As they finished up their meal and cleaned up, they had to take their showers and get ready for bed. They had a long Labor Day weekend ahead of them. Michael was going to go into work because they had a Labor Day weekend work ahead as it was going to be a Monday to remember. Everything is going really well at work, honey, said Grace. Yeah, well, I still have to work on Monday, so I'm just going to go in for a short time and then come home, okay? Oh, you're open on Monday? Oh, yeah, that's it's a big event. Our grand opening is officially open, so it's like we're open, but it's like the red tag. It's like a red ribbon event. Oh, okay. Well, have fun. I have to go to bed early, Grace, so I'm going to take it from here. Okay, Grace. As Grace rounds the kids up and says that she's going to take care of the kids from here, Michael goes to bed. Michael has to be up early in the morning. So Michael goes to bed and he has to get ready for a long, early morning. So Michael wakes up early the next morning, has coffee at 6 a.m. He gets there early at 7, 7 o'clock. He sees the whole family's obviously asleep, except for Grace. Grace is breastfeeding early in the morning. Grace, you're going to be okay? Yeah, I'm going to be okay. You're breastfeeding early this morning? Yes. Okay, I have to head out. You're heading out now? Yeah, I have to be there at 7. The ribbon cutting ceremony starts at 9 o'clock, so I want to be there early. Okay, see you later, honey. I love you. I love you too, Grace. So Michael heads out to the office, and he sees that Stephen's there and Lisa and also Michael Carrington. Hey, everybody, you're here early, too? Yeah. Did you already have coffee? Yeah, I already had coffee. I'm not going to drink a second cup till later. I just wanted to get here early and type up some notes for t Thursday's meeting. Well, it's a ribbon-cutting ceremony, so we're only going to be here for the ribbon-cutting ceremony, and then we're going to go home to our families. The rest of the staff can be here. Okay, so... What exactly are we going to do? We're just going to cut the ribbon and be here for pictures. That's it. Okay, so it's just a photo op. Yeah, basically just a newspaper and that's it. Okay, that's fine. So when does it officially start? Around 8.30, 9 o'clock. Oh, that's great. Perfect. So as they get ready for the pictures to be taken, they have a big ribbon in front of the office and they have a big scissors. It's a photo op for the local newspaper. And they take pictures of the unofficial but official opening, grand reopening of the business. Smith and Motors and Rentals. Free opening. And it looks beautiful. The new hedges in the front the new landscape, everything looks beautiful. And the new sidewalks, everything just looks just gorgeous. Michael is just impressed because he didn't realize that Stephen, while he was gone, had somebody landscape the front. And he was just so floored by this. He said, surprise. And Michael was very surprised at the landscaping. It looks wonderful, said Michael. I'm very surprised. It looks great. So the ribbon cutting ceremony was just about to begin as they were taking pictures of Michael and Stephen and all the staff members that were present, including Lisa and Michael Carrington and Harrison 
and Vanessa and Carol and certain other staff members that were there. So they took the pictures and then that was it. It was complete and they wanted to make sure they had pictures for the office. So they asked personally if they could have pictures sent to them. And they said that would be no problem. So they could put it up in their office. That was a wonderful moment. Michael said, I have all my notes done for Thursday's meeting. So it's all set and done. I'm gonna head home from here. Me too. I have big plans for Labor Day. I'll see you guys Thursday. I'll be in if I need to be. If not, you'll see me Thursday. Okay, Michael, enjoy being a parent for a while. Yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Taking it easy and taking naps and changing diapers. <laughs> yeah, a lot of diapers. I bet, said Michael's friends. I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for being so supportive. As Michael heads out the back door, he says bye to HR for the afternoon. Have a nice afternoon, everybody. You too, Michael. As Michael heads out, he's so happy that he doesn't have to spend the whole day there because he doesn't want to work today. He wants to be home with his wife and family. As everybody's home, they're ready to grill and cook out as they're prepping to cook out for lunch. Already, Dad? Michael said. Oh, you're home, son. It's not even 11 o'clock. Well, we're not going to cook now. We're just getting everything ready for the grill and cook out. Oh, wow. What are we cooking out? Well, we're going to cook uh, ribs and we're going to cook chicken and barbecue chicken and hot dogs and hamburgers. That's a lot of food. Um, we're going to invite Nan, Johnny Knox, Vanessa, a couple other people, some, some of your friends. Oh, that's great. They're going to be coming over. Yeah. They're on the way over now. Oh, wow. In fact, they should be here any minute. <laughs> oh my gosh, said Michael. You invited all these people? Yeah, well, if I'm going to cook this much food, in fact, I'm putting it on the grill right now because they might be hungry. You might not be hungry, but they might be hungry, Michael. Oh, Dad, come on. Really? Yeah, really. You have a baby boy. We're celebrating. Oh, that's awesome, Dad. I didn't even think. You think Grace will fill up to coming down? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll have to go up and check. Let me see if Grace is okay. Okay, d said Dad. Check and see if she's okay. Maybe she fills up to having a hamburger or something or a hot dog. Maybe she'll have barbe barbecue ribs. Okay, I'll go upstairs and see. As he's grilling downstairs, that's what Grandpa does best. He goes upstairs to check on Grace. Grace, are you fill up to a barbecue? Everybody's downstairs waiting. Oh, that's awesome. I'll bring the baby down. Okay, that would be nice. Okay, so Grace comes downstairs with the baby. And there's Vanessa Knox with her husband, Johnny, and Michael, who's now almost two. And now all these people start flooding the patio, including Nan, Mrs. Yokoshoto, and all the kids. And everybody's there to join in the fun. And they get to see the baby for the first time. They all get to enjoy the barbecue on Labor Day. This is so much fun. Grace is full of happiness and joy. As everybody gets a chance to see the baby for the first time. They bring presents and cards again. It's like all over again. Everybody gets a chance to hold the baby and get to enjoy a little time with the baby. Grace says, now I have to go take the baby upstairs and nurse the baby a little. So thank you, everybody. It's okay, Grace. Enjoy your time with alone with the baby. I will. Thank you, everybody, for spending time with me and the baby. 
Grace goes upstairs to nurse the baby for the time that she needs to 